All right, so today, this session, we're gonna talk about segments. Segments are the filters through which you create workflows off of. For example, not everyone that visits the website you're gonna to wanna to be notified for. You typically wanna be notified for the companies or prospects who are most engaging with your site and the ones you care about. And so here are some out of the box segments and how do you arrive to segments. You go to settings and you go to segments and this is how you can configure the segments uh, for the rest of your workflows. Let's go through some of these. These segments, if, whether you're on the free or the paid plan, you'll have many of them pre-configured. I added a couple more just to show you the variations that we can come up with. But honestly, there are so many ways to configure segments. So we have company employees, you know, let's do company. This is the broader category. Company metrics, employees greater than 50. Estimated revenue is greater as any of these. Company headquarters is in the US. We want to filter out company traffic because we typically don't want to include traffic from our own company. In our case, it's anybody who's coming from warmly.ai. We want to filter out competitors so the domain is not in Drift or Qualify. These two are competitors. Sorry, Drift. Uh, filter out customers. In our case, once you sync your CRM, it's folks who are not in the stage sales pipeline is closed one. Uh, we want to filter out any opportunities as well. Sometimes we want to apply that filter. We want to potentially filter in pricing page or case studies page because these are high intent pages for us. So page path name contains pricing or page case studies. Research intent in depth. Uh, I might have mentioned this before, but we integrate with Bombora. Whether you're on the free or the paid plan, you actually do have access to Bombora search intent. So we can filter by whether or not they're uh, researching certain topics and at what stage of research they're in. So they could be in-depth research, early research, active research. And when you go to Bombora, we can just do this right now. So let's go to Bombora. And if the company is researching topics like chatbot, intent data, or drift, these are our competitors, then we care because those are uh, topics that are pertinent to our business. So coming back to, to, to segments, session time, which is do they visit the page for more than 10 seconds? And let's say UTM medium equals email. This is like referral source. The fact that they came in from an email could indicate that they're high intent because if you're sending outbound emails with a link attached to it and they click in to arrive at your site, that person might have read the email and thought, I needed to check and find more information about what Warmly is, whatever company does. And that's another indication of search intent. Uh, whether they visited from the US, country equals United States. So these are all examples of segments that you can build. We've kind of covered most of the broader categories. As an example, you can apply these filters when you're looking at your dashboard. So I might come in here and say, for all the people that visited recently, as since adding my script tag, this is my demo account, I want to only filter in the ones where the company size is greater than 50. All these companies are greater than 50. I also wanna filter the ones who have been on the site for more than 10 seconds. And then suddenly you see the list get a lot shorter. All right, so let's showcase how we can apply some of these segments. Let's go to Slack. Remember that Slack notification that we started? Let's add some segments. They need to be at companies greater than 50. They need to be headquartered in the States. Um, they should not be competitors. They should not be customers. They should not be opportunities. And that's it. Let's, let's do that for now. It's pretty broad. We can do some of the st other stuff later.